Welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to generate a Pareto plot and just because there are many different definitions of Pareto plot to be clear I'll be generating a dual axis bar chart which will show uh, the frequencies and the cumulative frequencies, uh, relative frequencies as uh, an ogive. Click in SPSS on graphs then chart builder you might get a warning about measurement levels, so assuming you've set everything up OK, click on OK. And in the chart editor now, click on Reset. Click on Gallery, and from the Choose From, select the dual axis and select the simple dual Y axis with categorical X axis. Drag that into the chart preview area, then select the variable of which you actually want to see the Pareto plot and drag that one into the x-axis. Now have a look in the element properties window which should be open if it's not click on the element properties. Make sure you select bar 1, check if it says that that will be on the y-axis one and change the statistic from mean to for example the count so we actually get the frequencies. Then click on apply then click on line 2 which will actually be the ogive and at the moment it says count and change this into cumulative percentage then click on apply and for the moment we're now done in this menu we click on ok and we should get a start of a Pareto plot now what makes a Pareto plot a Pareto plot is if these bars are actually in descending order so the plane and the car one in my case should be swapped we can do this automatically, unfortunately not directly in the chart editor but um, or in the chart builder, but if we double click on, the, on this one we get to the chart editor, click on the variables tab, uh, sorry, click on uh, one of the bars and then you can actually go to bar options uh, to add a 3D effect, but at categories you can change the sort by value into statistic and then I want them to be in the direction descending click on apply and now the bars should go into descending order close the chart editor and we now finally have our nice looking Pareto plot 